Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel. Today, as you can maybe see in the title, we're going to talk I'm a scat man. We're going to talk about another update of DMW. To be exit, the update of the 3rd of September, which should be either today or tomorrow, depending when you see this video or when I allow it to publish it. And we have a lot of things to talk about, and I will try to make it quick. You can see the video is not that long, or if it's long, then you can be sure that there's a lot of information. So how about we jump right in? So the probably most exciting news for many people, especially for collectors, is the release of two new Digimon, which will be Megidromon X and also Chaos Dukemon X. Is it Chaos Dukemon X? Yeah, it's Chaos Dukemon X, aka Chaos Ganonmon X, if you know it by that name. And one of those will also get a showcase the next days. Yeah, it's already recorded and uploaded, I just don't know when I'm going to release it. But one of them is getting a showcase, maybe the other one too. News number two is the release of the Royal Base Normal Mode. Yeah, you've maybe known, or you've maybe known, you maybe know already that the Royal Base has been released for a long time, but it was only the Easy Mode. Now we also have the Normal Mode, but there's one thing that might, <laughs> that might make you upset. All the normal tickets you farmed so far, if you remember, you can do two quests in Verdundi, one for the easy mode and one for the normal mode. All those tickets gonna be deleted and you have to farm them again. Together with Royal Base, also FTG has a normal mode as well now. Together with its normal ticket quest, which has been gone for a while, and together with that, there's also a lot of reworks, which I'm gonna show you here. Here? There? I'm gonna show it there. Um, a lot of reworks for the accessories and maybe also the stats. Anyway, there has been a lot of work in there. Now the only thing we have to hope for is that we can actually beat it. <laughs> so for now that seems like a lot of content in this patch, but we also have some quality of life changes. For example, the Kaiser's Warp Gates, which you need to enter the Chimeramon Dungeon. They are now auto-collected. Yep, that's right. Same as quest items of every kind, you now can also auto collect the Kaiser's Warp Gates you can farm in Dark Tower Wasteland, or maybe also in Western. I know that you can farm them in Dark Tower Wasteland and it was annoying to check for all the items to see those gates, but now they're auto collected. You can freely just kill everything in that area and you will just see those items popping into your inventory now. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's one feature on this list I would like to announce, which is only temporary, it's an event, it's a double seal drop. I tried to announce this like 10 times now and I don't find the right words for it. Double seals for now, for this event. If you need seals, pound them now. Something I forgot to mention in terms of new Digimon releases is not... It's not? Is that we not only got two new Digimon, Megidromon X and Chaos Dukemon X, King Itamon got its Black Gear evolution now, which you can unlock through the same way you unlock the other evolutions. So you go into the Devimon Raid, you drop the item, you unlock it, and additionally, for this event, it will be boosted by 1.5. Means 50% more stats? Is, that cor is this correct? 150% more stats? Because it's boosted by 1.5? And it doesn't have 1.5? So if it's 50 or 150% stats, I don't know really. But it will be stronger than usual. The next news will be pretty great for all free to play players out there waiting for this specific Digimon. But before I can tell you more about that, follow me. We're gonna go to a new, uh, we're gonna go to a new place which might stay permanently, but for now it's only for this event. We're going to go back to old dads, which was free or would which was reachable, but now isn't, if I remember right. So we need to talk to Babaman to get there again, and et voila, we're back in old dads. And in here, in the old dads, we have an old friend which you might have already seen in the cash shop, but you maybe don't have him yet. We're talking about Jasmine. You can get Jasmine completely for free just by attending uh, to his quests. Yeah, we're going to we're going to talk to him, and then we have to do some su -su -su sub quest, talking to Richard, which <laughs> which who will also give us another quest. Then, if I remember right, yeah, daily antivirus components. And after this quest, if we Get 25 essence of A4, 25 essence of Rene, 25 essence of Poor, and 25 essence of Tactical Arms from these, um, from these, uh, from these places already seen in the quest. Then we're gonna get three boxes. Uh, bo -bo 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 -bo. where's the quest? We're gonna get three boxes of Jasmon, three boxes gift of Jasmon. But since we're not gonna do that quest right now, I'm just gonna show you what is inside of them. It's not only Jasmon, but there's also a lot of other stuff. 
After figuring out a lot, I finally got those boxes and now let me open them. Also, what I found out is that with this event, you can do the quest line from Richard Sampson together with, like, you can do this quest together with some other quests, I guess, because you can get a total of eight boxes according to the patch notes per day. And together with that, yeah, you can get eight of those boxes, Gift of Jasmine character bound per day. And what you can do here too is you can go to Jasmine and craft some artists as well. You can craft normal Gift of Jasmine as well, wanting you to just farm those senses from, um, yeah, from the places it, uh, it told you. So what we're gonna do is to open the Gift of Jasmine CB, just a hundred of them, which would be like 13 days. Don't, don't judge me, I'm tired. And then we're gonna open some of those other boxes which you can craft uh, infinitely. Alrighty, then let's spam those. I got told that they can uh, they can include the Jasmine factor, so let's see if we can get some of them. Okay, we opened those. We got some uh, reflecting blue light of life, so the stronger ones. We got some red light of life. We got NCS, we got Miracle Fruits, we got OCS. Some data and digit clones, nothing special so far. And then, if you didn't get it like me right now, I guess you can still get it. I, I don't know what a drawbird is, to be honest. Um, you can also use Gift of Jasmine, which is, as I told you, craftable infinitely if you just farm them. And we're gonna smash them open as well. Uh, and it costs 80 M though. That, that's what I didn't, uh, what I didn't tell. Sorry, my bad. Actually, the, the, um, the... How's it called? The patch note says 50 M, but apparently it's 80 now, or it will be changed. I don't know. But yeah, you can still craft. And I got it already. Okay, I opened 40 of them. Not even. I didn't even open 40 of them, So, but let's say 40. 40 times 8 is 320? Um, so 3,200? So I paid... Did I pay free Terra? Yeah, I paid about free Terra for those. For Jasmon. And I already got it. Okay. How about we keep going? We're gonna open all the uh, 100. So 100 boxes should be 80, right? Because 10 boxes is 800M. Yeah, 80. Sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> but I wanted to, to finish the videos for you because I didn't have time on the week. Uh, on last week, and I finally wanted to finish it. So, what we got here is random reinforced digi clones, 39. We got 46 option chain stones. We got some refracting blue light of Digisoul. We got uh, those boxes, which we already had. Oh no, those are new ones. They are tradable. We got some tradable red light of life, random data low class, always needed. And we got some NCS together with Jasmine. And as you can see, it's tradable. Um, I'm actually gonna try if I can make if I can get a character bound Jasmine from the other box. Okay, it works. It works. I got myself a character bound uh X90 Benefactor Jasmine. Okay, so you can get them from both boxes. Either from the eight you can get every day by doing the quest line or just from the one you craft there. Anyways, as you as you've seen, just from the cost, I paid a couple T and um I already got it. This is this is pretty dope. This is pretty dope, not gonna lie. If you have another opinion, you can always tell me in the comments. But for me, getting just one like this, great. Alright, another event we have right now is the attendance to the celebration of summer? Something like that? Celebration of summer? Something like that. And what you can do here is to celebrate summer by logging in and getting the dare... Getting the rare coins. Um, I'm not sure if you get... If you always get five, because there's an X, but I can see that you get five. So just from those two weeks, you can already, uh, you can already get 30, 60, 65, 70, 75 coins and the ones above here. So you get a lot of coins and with those coins, you can go to the rare machine, the rare, rare, rare machine and all that. And you can gamble here. And what you can get, wow, wow, yeah, wow indeed, of course, yeah, putting your head there will probably show the viewers what is in there, right? Very, very smart thing, we're gonna do this again. Also, I want to apologize real quick since apparently my microphone was scuffed while I was recording, but I don't have much time to do the whole thing again and I was already editing it, so sorry for that, I hope it will be better soon, next time. Okay, 
What I wanted to show you though is the inside of the rare machine, which will offer us a Super Moon Digi Aura, 15 days, Green Clover 1 to 99, Miracle Sapphire 1 and 2 for Tamer and Digimon, and probably some other rewards, which I sadly can't see yet. I also don't have the ID to try out some rare coins to check out what is in there, so I hope this information is enough. If you want to check it out, you can log in on the first day of the event, get your rare coin and try it yourself. And now let's continue with the video. Alrighty guys, we're finally at an end. You've seen this video. It was longer than I expected, but it was full of content. A lot of updates, or like, this update is, is full of stuff, a lot of things coming. New Digimon, quality of life changes, free to play events, and a lot of stuff to get. Definitely worth to play right now. It's... <laughs> I don't know, it, it's... I guess it's coming close to, to the Antilla uh, event in terms of how worth it is to do it. So yeah, definitely, definitely log in when the patch is up, start of September, and enjoy. Have a wonderful day, hope you enjoyed the video, have a great day, bye bye.